so on top of the Nightscope K5, uh, the first thing we have is the LiDAR. And the LiDAR actually will give you a 3D map of the environment. It will take a 270-degree image uh, of the uh, of the room around it or the space around it and allow it to actually create a three-dimensional map. Coupled with that, you have GPS, you have DGPS, which will actually allow it to locate itself. Uh, we've got monitors on the wheels to tell how, uh, what distance it's traveling. And then we have uh, uh, ultrasonic sensors around it to tell anything else that might be in a closer proximity to it. So now we move down to the uh, first sensor layer. And on the first sensor layer, we have uh, four cameras positioned on uh, each side of the, the K5. Mm -hmm. uh, the cameras will see 360 degrees. Uh, we have nighttime vision capability, daytime vision capability, and also thermal imaging as well. Any of the information that is immediately relevant, so we need something to send an alert, for example, that data can be immediately transferred. Then you have data that's stored on it. And then when we go to park the, the, the unit to, uh, on its charging station, mm -hmm. uh, we take those opportunities to load the data either to a local server or to the cloud. On the side, these are the inlets for the microphone. So uh, we're not recording people's voices or people's conversations. We're recording ambient noise levels. So we want to make sure uh, that if something's going on and people are screaming, we're able to detect that and say, hey, there's something going on in this particular area. In the future, we will also have weapons of mass destruction cap uh, sensing capabilities. So we want to be able to detect radiation, chemical, biological weapons, and also airborne pathogens. So that's the sniffing portion of it. So right now, those features are not in this prototype. Correct. We uh, Right now, we in the beta prototype, we're offering uh, optical character recognition. We'll get, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, the 360-degree video capability and the LiDAR mapping. So the K5 also has optical character recognition. Optical character recognition will allow the robot to read license plates. Uh, so if you have somebody in the area with a stolen car, a wanted felon, anything like that, again, we'll be able to send out an immediate alert to, in, to the appropriate authorities to act on that. The Nightscope K5 is also fully autonomous. It, uh, it runs around on its own, as we said before, uses the LiDAR to, to map the area, and then it'll, uh, it's on an electric battery. Uh, the battery gets charged uh, automatically and it can run up to 24 hours. It won't do that, but it's capable of running 24 hours, but it knows at certain intervals it's going to go and seek out a charging station. But in future, uh, we're going to be able to go up and down curbs, off-road. Uh, this particular one, we can go on just about any uh, surface, uh, grass, concrete, and the like, small bumps, ramps, things like that. Uh, this will run up to 18 miles per hour. But I imagine in a shopping mall, it has a cruising speed. That's it's actually going to be much lower. Normal operation is probably going to be somewhere between one and three miles per hour.